This meeting is so important. We reached out to U.S. Senator James Langford, who watched closely as the two world leaders met tonight. Senator Langford joining us by phone from our nation's capital tonight. Now, Senator, what are your initial thoughts after seeing the live coverage of the meeting and that very public handshake? I have a cautious optimism. Uh, it is historic in that uh, we haven't seen the U.S. president and the chairman or leader of North Korea ever meet. Uh, for us, for them to be able to have that meeting is incredibly significant, but it's the first of probably several meetings. But you can't have a second and a third, and you can't get to resolution until you have the first. So there's some cautious optimism because North Korea uh, has avoided a lot of deals in the past and have walked away from a lot of agreements. But uh, we'll, we'll see if we can actually get something done this time. It's historic. Senator, President Trump is spending less than 24 hours in Singapore. Is this enough time to accomplish significant agreement on the critical topic of nuclear weapons? Well, it's not going to get a signed agreement of, of large-scale significance, uh, but this puts the two leaders face-to-face -to, -face to be able to talk through some of the hard issues. It gives opportunity for our Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, to be able to meet and continue to be able to follow up and then uh, also have military-to-military -military relationships. So once this first meeting passes, then there's a lot of very significant face-to-face -face meetings with other leaders that can occur. All right, Senator James Langford talking to us by phone live tonight from Washington, D.C.